this final reading. Follow along with me, if you would. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. I read it wrong purposely because I wanted you to see a couple of words. Did you see the words I dropped out? They were the words, to you. You notice they're not necessary. The next verse actually reads, and this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Once again, the words to you are not necessary. The word, the passage would make just as much sense if it said, and this will be a sign. You will find a babe wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. It doesn't say that. It says this will be a sign to you. Every time the word you occurs in this segment, it doesn't need to be there. Which means God put it there purposely. Make sense? It's as if the angels are so excited to make sure that the shepherds know that this is for them that the angel just keeps saying, to you, to you, to you, to you. And oh, how important it is, brothers and sisters, that you and I hear those words, to you. Because what does the devil do to you and me? The devil comes to you and me and says, oh, you can understand how Mr. Smith or Mrs. Smith, how God could take that person to heaven. I mean, Mr. or Mrs. Smith, you decide if you want her to be male or you want him to be, if you want him to be male or her to be female. I said that wrong. You decide which one you want. They're so patient. They're so kind. They're so good. They're so loving. They're so gentle. But oh, the devil says to you and to me, Look at your head. Look at your heart. You are wicked. You are evil. You are horrible. Yeah, God can save Mr. Smith. But can he really save you? And that's where it's absolutely vital that we hear, I bring you good news that will cause great joy. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in the manger. Jesus didn't just come to save everybody. He did come to save everybody. We thank God that he came to save everybody. But tonight, brothers and sisters, also hear the wonderful truth that he was born to save you. His birth announcement makes it oh so clear. Amen? And amen.